Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can connect your external domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy or Bluehost into your mailing bus autoresponder in BuildRaw. If you don't know who I am, I am Nex from Pixelnext. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. I'll be releasing more videos about BuildRaw and affiliate marketing. Alright, so before getting into the steps, some of you might be clueless about what mailing boss is. So mailing boss is essentially an, an email marketing software. It's an email autoresponder like Aweber. It's like get response. All right. So before getting to the steps, some of you might be clueless as to what mailing boss is. So mailing boss is essentially an email marketing software. That's it. So it's like get response, Aweber. But the great thing about mailing boss, it, now they're offering an, an unlimited license. I'm not sure if this promotion is going to go on forever but for now it's still standing where you just pay a small one-time fee of $50 and you can use this email marketing software forever to put it into perspective unlike GetResponse Aweber you don't have to pay monthly recurring fees like GetResponse and Aweber the more subscribers you have the more lists you have the more emails you send out the more you're gonna have to pay them I have a link down below if you're interested in this um, you can see all of the features down here, subscription forms. Yeah, they have everything that you need to run your business online using email marketing. Alright, so without wasting any more time, I'm going to show you the steps, how you to connect your external domain to mailing boss. Alright, so over here I have my Word document that I put up. I outline everything that you need for this video. You can download it down below in the description for free. Yes, I'm not going to charge you anything for it. So it doesn't really matter what domain name provider you're using, using GoDaddy, Bluehost, or Namecheap, they all work fundamentally the same, right? But I love Namecheap, I've been using it for as long as I can remember. I'm also going to show you how you can get the domain name for cheap. So you go into Namecheap.com, okay, I have the links all inside this document already. And then maybe you want to search for a new domain. Uh, let's say buildrolltycoon.com Com. And the great thing about Namecheap, the domain names are really cheap and the support is great. So I'm, gonna, I'm also going to show you a hack. Now normally uh, some domains they cost uh, $10 or something per year. This one is already discounted. Okay, so when that happens, you just go to Google and type in Google Chrome, uh, Honey Chrome extension or you can click on this link over here. Uh, download it for free. The icon will be over here, honey. And then when you reach the checkout, um, this thing is going to appear over here. You just click on apply discounts and they're going to find you the best discount code that uh, possible out there. Uh, it's all on autopilot. You don't need to do anything. You just click this and they will find it. If it's at the very cheapest as it could get, this is what the response will be. There's no buyer's, buyer's remorse here. So that's the cheapest price you could get which is very reasonable. All right, so let's move into the steps. So I have outlined all of the steps here. There's only four steps that you, that you need to follow. First, you open Mailing Boss in the Build Raw dashboard. So you go to your Build Draw dashboard over here, go down over here, Mailing Boss Autoresponder, and then you click Welcome over here, or over here, and they're gonna access the same place, which is your Mailing Boss dashboard. Now, when you're inside, go to step two, Go to menu over here and click on domains, which will open this page over here. And then you click on this, create new. So this is where you connect your domain. So just now we bought tycoon for instance, .com, And then you click on save changes. Now. I've already connected a domain name that I haven't verified yet, so I'll go back. So it's this one, wildlifenext.com. So after you connect, uh, after you create new, you put in that domain name, it's going to bring you to this page. Now most people might freak out at this, looking at these numbers, these, they look uh, gibberish. But it's actually very straightforward. So you need to verify, in order to verify your domain, you need to um, put in the text records, uh, the two text records and the CNAME records. Now, so you open up your domain list inside your Namecheap account. 
right so mine is over here wildlifenext.com and then you click on manage it's going to bring you to this page over here so remember the name server must be a names namecheap basic dns because you can only configure the dns records um, when it's at this point and don't worry by default it's like that so then you go to advanced dns over here and then you're going to reach to this page over here right so as i said just now you need uh, three records two text records and one cnm record so it's pretty straightforward um, for the first text record just copy all of this click on add new record and go down and find text record over here so the value is all of that so remember copy everything they have periods uh, apostrophes everything and this one as well so this one is actually the host right here and then click on the right button next text so you just uh, repeat the same steps over and over again until you finish them all text record value um, so remember okay over here you have to be very careful with this as you can see there's a period at the very end you need to include that because if you don't include that then build raw might think that it is a subdomain which is not what you want so the third one we want a c name record target over here emboss so when you're all done just yeah so that's step three and then step four verify dns okay verify dns records all right so your domain has been successfully verified congratulations so when you go back to menu domains voila it's verified now here's a warning you won't need to change the text and the c name records uh, the steps one to four if you've already connected your domain to any funnel inside builder all so if you already have a builder all account you don't need to do this at uh, these steps if you don't have a builder all account yet or you connect that domain name to another server which is not builder all but you want to use the email marketing software with mailing boss then you need to do steps one to four all right so if you haven't connected the external domain name to any builder all funnel then follow steps one to, one to four above only after that can you change the name servers ns1 and ns2 the combination or ns3 and ns4 the combination all right so never change the name servers before you change the dns records the text records and the cnm records change this first and then can you only change the name servers so i asked build all about this and they replied with a very informative message so it's very small over here so when you download the document maybe you can see it you can enlarge it Okay, I'll show you over here. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for getting in touch with us. Mm. Okay, so I've already connected my domain name, which is another domain. Your domain domain name will be verified on mailing boss when you connect it to one of your sites on Builderall. So I don't need to change the text records and the C name records uh, because I've already connected it to one of my funnels inside Builderall. The only thing I need to change is the name servers. So I needed to change the ns3 and also the ns4 name servers to point it to build wrong so if you have a domain pointed to other servers so if you're not pointing that the name servers from namecheap to build wrong then you need to add the text and the cnm records if you want to use the mailing boss uh, email autoresponder all right so this is an example of the domain name that i chose that is already connected to build raw and as you can see over here 
when yeah I already changed it to custom DNS so when I wanted to change the name servers to point it to build ROM I changed it to an NS3 NS, and, an, and NS4 so when that, ha when that happens you cannot change the host records you can manage the host records in your C panel okay so the only way to change is the the DNS records you have to change it back to namecheck basic DNS but I got the reply from buildrom they said that it was not necessary so if you've already connected your domain name to buildrom then you don't need to do this you don't need to do steps 1 to 4 so at the end of the document uh, I've put up a summary if you haven't connected your domain yet to any buildrom funnel and if you've already connected your external domain to any buildrom funnel all right that's all for the video and that's how you connect your domain name from Namecheap or GoDaddy or Bluehost to Mailing Boss. Now I have something very interesting for you guys. I'm doing affiliate marketing and I'm currently promoting Builderong. Builderong is a very amazing platform where when you promote the Builderong platform itself, so you can use it and you can also promote it. So when you promote it, uh, you will get 100% commissions from the first tier uh, affiliate under you and then when that person gets another commission uh, gets another sign up under that you will get 30% from that second person it's a two tier affiliate program where you get 100% commissions from a person directly under you the first tier and you will also get 30% commissions from the person under him and every single month you will get 30% from each so if you're interested in joining my team my builder of business heroes team Check out the link below to earn the 100% commissions and 30% recurring commissions for your tier 1 and tier 2 affiliates every single month. With special bonuses from me, I've already compiled the bonuses, the training that you need, the funnels. So you just click here and join. And that is it for the video. I hope this helped you out so much. Uh, to recap, yeah, you can download this document down in the description below. It's for free. If you found the content valuable, please drop a like comment down below if there's any other kind of video that you'd like me to make uh, please subscribe because i'll be releasing more videos like this and also affiliate marketing in the future thank you so much and i will see you in the next video